Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the various treatments for angina. For more information on angina itself, you can see my dedicated video, the link for which I will provide below. In the most basic of terms, angina occurs when cardiac oxygen supply cannot meet cardiac oxygen demand. Therefore, in order to treat it, we need to either reduce oxygen demand or increase oxygen supply. According to the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, the first in-line treatment for angina is GTN spray, which is used for immediate relief. For ongoing prophylaxis, patients are either prescribed beta blockers or calcium channel blockers. If this is insufficient, patients will be prescribed both beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Failing this, the patient is prescribed either long-acting nitrates, evabradine or nicarandil. To learn more about GTN, you can see my dedicated video, the link for which I will also provide below. Beta blockers, as their name suggests, are antagonists to beta adrenoceptors. This prevents sympathetic stimulation of the heart, evoking chronotropy and inotropy reduction. This reduction in chronotropy increases the time that the heart spends in diastole, which therefore increases coronary flow. This reduction in chronotropy and inotropy reduces cardiac oxygen demand, while the increase in coronary flow increases cardiac oxygen supply. Calcium channel blockers mediate their effects by blocking L-type calcium channels in smooth muscle cells of coronary arteries and arterioles, causing vasodilatation. This reduces inotropy and therefore reduces cardiac oxygen demand. These drugs also have antihypertensive properties, which is useful in treating the underlying cause of angina, atherosclerosis. Long-acting nitrates work via the same mechanism of GTN spray, which I have outlined in the dedicated video, the link for which is below. Evabradine exerts its effects by slowing the rate of the sinoatrial node by blocking the so-called funny current. This current is mediated by the non-selective cation channel HCN4, which is responsible for generating cardiac depolarization. Therefore, this selective antagonism reduces chronotropy, which extends the time during which blood is able to perfuse the heart, which in turn reduces oxygen demand. Nicarandil is an ATP-sensitive potassium channel activator. This drug opens KATP channels in vascular smooth muscle cells, causing hyperpolarization of the cell membrane, and therefore closure of the voltage-gated calcium channels. This decreases the calcium concentration in the cytoplasm and therefore induces vasodilatation. This reduces inotropy and therefore reduces cardiac oxygen demand. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.